say that in a room together this year, doesn't it, friends? Um, huh. I don't think I realized how, how exactly that was going to affect me this year after missing out last year. So it is good to, to gather together and worship together. Um, I want to say thank you. Uh, I'm Pastor Katie. Hello. Yeah. As we say, some of you I know, some of you I don't. Like, so hi. Welcome. Um, I want to say thank you to uh, all of those who contributed to uh, the beautiful poinsettias that are in the sanctuary. Um, I want to add one um, one that came in after the, the inserts had been printed. Um, so um, the one on my sheet that isn't on your sheet that I'm going to read to you so that you just hear it and, and know that uh, there was just a communication more one of those things. Uh, the Leanheart family in memory of Sharon and Butch Shepherd. So. I uh, know that that um, didn't quite make your list, but should have. Uh, so our apologies uh, to that to that family. Um, so we are grateful to have you here and with us. We are hoping that everyone brought their their best childlike spirit with them tonight, right? We, I see we have some some actual children, and we're grateful for that. You will lead a, lead the way in the congregation tonight. Little did you know that you would be the leaders tonight. Uh, so as we as we make our way into the worship service, we are glad you're here, and uh, we welcome you to worship tonight as we worship uh, the newborn newborn Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I invite you to join with me as we uh, say together the mission statement of uh, for the congregation. The mission state the mission of the United Methodist Church of Antioch is to grow in faith, to worship God, following the teachings of Jesus Christ and to be instruments of God's love through the Holy Spirit as we reach out to our community and the world. I invite you to stand as you are able and join me in our opening prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to us on this Christmas Eve. We celebrate your birthday with excitement because we know it means you love us. We ask you to be with us and our families as we worship you with everything we have this night. Amen. You may be seated. So as we begin to tell the ABCs tonight, your job will be to pay very close attention. Every time I say the word shepherds, those of you with the shepherd poster, your job will be to hold your mini poster up and say, let's go see. Exactly. Excellent. Let's practice that one more time. Shepherds, let's go see. Fabulous. Okay, and when I say wise ones, those of you with wise ones on your poster will hold them up and say, Look, a star. Isn't it helpful we had those words printed on the back so you can't forget? It's like I've met people before. Okay, and, and then when I say the word angel, the angels are going to hold theirs up and say, Hallelujah! You guys are so good at this already. Okay, are you ready to start? Everybody, everybody set? You got your listening ears on? Okay. A is for angel. Hallelujah! The angel, Hallelujah! Gabriel began the story by telling Mary, and we hear this from Luke chapter 1, verses 28 through 33. Good morning! You're beautiful with God's beauty. Beautiful inside and out. God be with you, Mary. You have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. B. B is for Bethlehem where our story takes place. People traveled from far and wide to get to Bethlehem, which is not a very big village. C. C is for census. Kind of a strange word if you think about it, but it means an official counting of all the people, the reason that so many people came to Bethlehem. D. D is for donkey. 
A donkey carried the family on their long journey. Mary and Joseph had to travel 107 miles along the Jordan River to get from Nazareth, Nazareth to Bethlehem. It's a long journey on a donkey. E, E is for exhausted. <sighs> That's how everyone must have felt when they arrived. It would take about 36 hours of walking to go that far. That's three days in a row of doing nothing but walking. And so if you wanted to sleep at night, that was going to take longer. It's a lot of walking. A lot of walking. I invite you now to join me as we sing together, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Angel, 
was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights. Peace to all men and women on earth. So let's join them in singing. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. <laughs> slightly more challenging because you get to come around and light the pink candle. J is for joy. 
Now we light the Advent candle of joy. Joy is a kind of happiness that comes from God. It cannot be dampened and is always shared. Fabulous job. Thank you. We are getting great at this Advent candle lighting stuff, friends. Look at us go. The birth of Jesus gives us joy. And that pink candle always, always represents joy. So now it seems only appropriate that we sing Joy to the World. <laughs> Jesus summarized his ministry by saying, love God and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Excellent. I think we hired some star at the <laughs> M is for manger. A manger is usually used to hold food for animals. But this time, this time it held a baby because he had no crib. So now, let's sing away in the meantime.
happens every year at Christmas time. That's what happens every time we decide to follow Jesus. He is born anew in each of us. O is for offering. The wise ones. <laughs> the wise ones have been asleep for a while. So let's try that one again. But yeah, it's, yeah. Like I said, the wise ones have been, you know, this is their time in the story. The wise ones, <laughs> there you go, gave gifts to the baby. And we can offer our gifts every day. We give our time, our talents, and our treasure to God. And pray that as a church, we are good stewards of all that is entrusted to us. So we share our gifts now. Would the ushers come forward to receive this evening's gifts to the baby Jesus?
God, as we lay these gifts at the feet of Jesus Christ, we thank you that we have had anything to give at all. Bless these gifts that we might continue in Jesus' ministry in the world, that we might continue to change it in his name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Okay. I need a helper. Whose turn is it? the most 
most ancient symbols of Christianity. People have been using the letter X to stand for Christ for centuries. And so now we light the Christ candle, symbolizing the coming of light into the world. Yes, Jesus is born. Why? Why is for you, you angels? Hallelujah! You wise ones? You shepherds? You sons and daughters and children, you mothers and fathers, parents and grandparents, guardians alike, you friends and strangers, you are all here to worship and celebrate the birth of Jesus. Z is for zeal. This is your invitation to let your zeal for Christ burn brightly. And so now I invite you to crack your glow sticks, and if you need to help one another do that, know that the light of God burns much, much brighter than even these glow sticks that have already added light to our room, right? Those, though these lights will eventually die out, the light of God is steadfast and endures forever. I invite you to stand as you are able, and we will sing together silently. out into the world, trusting that the light that we can carry from here is the light of Christ. And even when our glow sticks fade, that light lives on in our hearts. Go in the name of our Savior who is born this night, Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>